Logano and Ryan Grigson are out. And Andrew Luck, well, he's been out a lot, playing only half of their games in the last three plus years. So the Colts, they have a lot of really young players. It's a very different team compared to the team that used to play the Patriots here in those rivalry games, even as soon as um, 2015. But Frank Reich now, new head coach, who are some of the building blocks that this team can really build around for the future, Irv? Well, let's start with one of the guys. When I see him play, I'll say, oh, man, this reminds me of another old safety for the coach, and that's Malik Hooker, man. This dude here, you remember the name Bob Sanders and how he roamed Big that man. secondary. Yeah, he, he would hit you in a uh, minute, but you watch Malik Hooker right here. This is range, folks, to get over, and this is the thing that I say, oh, Bob Sanders didn't have that. He likes to intercept balls and take it and the other the way. Yeah. That's, the, that's the whole other thing that he adds right here. Now look, Malik Hooker right here. Watch how he gets over, over on the top of this, and this look, cover too deep, look, get over it, and make that play right there. What great range, man. And you know he tore his MCL, he tore his ACL last year. In those first seven games he played, he had three interceptions. Bob Sanders, the guy I mentioned, two interceptions the year he won defensive MVP. That dude takes the okay. ball from you. Well, for me, I, I got to go with left guard Quentin Nelson. I mean, big road grader uh, type of a, type of an offensive lineman. This guy uh, in short yardage situations almost every time, he moves another 300-pound man and moves him to another part of the earth, which is very, uh, very hard for, for people to do. He has to get some, some work on pass protection. He's given up nine sacks uh, this year. But plays like this, I mean, this guy, you can just line up and run the ball behind him. When you talk about the Indianapolis Colts, they want to they want to get they talk about wanting to get physical. It starts with their left guard and Quentin Nelson. The guy that I'm looking at is the young phenom. He plays the linebacker position, of course. Second round pick Darius Leonard boy, boy, boy. out of South Carolina yes, State. Oh, Didn't know if he played tonight because he was a little hobble, but he already, Mike, leads the league in tackles. He has four sacks. He has seven tackles for loss. He's all over the place. A lot has to do with the way they scheme and they yes. use them. They run games up front. They bring him on the blitzes. He has a nose for the football. And in the run game, not the biggest guy in the world, but he's strong. He's, he's physical. Playmaker, he's really? late. He's a playmaker. <laughs> he and he has great instincts as a linebacker you got to have great instincts so when i watch this kid play on tape he knows where to go already he's like that captain he's filling out getting guys lined up and in the midst of all that he's making plays and he's leading the league in tackles mm -hmm. that's saying a lot yeah wow. he's done a really great job also they have naheem hines who's flashed as a rookie zach pascal who was primarily on special teams and last week he had the touchdown so the, this colts team they have some some pretty good players that are coming up here it all together. also we just got the inactives for the game and good news for the patriots rob gronkowski he's a go josh gordon he is also a go in tonight's game so <laughs> great stuff there good sony boy. michelle though Man, i'm boy. wondering if this guy, he's a go, don't worry everybody. I'm wondering he's if this back. guy's gonna be going Running backs, off Mike. tonight. Running backs, Mike, they Moving catch, they, they do all that, Mike. More from Fox I'm just saying, they block for those passes, too. Is he gonna be the X Factor?